Hello there my beautiful soul fans. My name is Catalina. Welcome back to my channel Moonlight Awakening. I'm a highly intuitive spiritual awakening coach. At the end people feel you know understood that and knowing that knowing that they're not alone because technically you're not really truly alone because I'm also here for you and I will include angel readings with the coach team if you like or maybe you just want the angel readings that is you receive guidance and answers directly from your amazing team of angels that I love to connect to okay and I do have an Etsy shop I can't wait to make you know new pieces with like with uh, the crystals I love being creative I love crystals and combination of both is ah uh, magical <laughs> so anyway yeah um i do have an etsy, sh etsy shop and I'm, i do have an instagram and a facebook and on facebook i do go live there i talk about certain topics or if people want to bring up certain you know topics as well you know we can talk about it it's pretty fun it's cool so yeah all the information is down below this video and i want to thank all my beautiful amazing light warriors you know for supporting me i get all those lovely messages so thank you so so much okay so yes you know self love right um the longer your spiritual awakening journey you come to realize that how powerful you know love is because it, it is a it is a powerful force it, it, it really truly is and if back then, years ago, somebody asked me before my spiritual awakening journey, if somebody asked me, hey, do you have self-love? I'd be like, yeah, sure, yeah, for sure, yeah. And, but do you really know what self-love actually is? You know, really digging deep of what truly is self-love, right? And because it means way way beyond that it, it means way more than just self-love oh I love me it means more than that you know and you dig 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 deep into it and self-love means you know what I'm tired of being fe feeling scared all the time because I love myself I don't want to be I I want to be courageous now. I don't want to be fear. I don't want to feel fear anymore, right? You want to release that fear. Self-love also means that, you know, forgiveness. Forgiveness, yeah, also forgiveness to yourself. Forgiveness that, you know, um, because the love I have for myself, I'm gonna forgive myself that at least I freaking tried. Because you at least tried, didn't you? Of course, you at least tried. And also, obviously, also forgiveness can also mean, you know, forgiving others. I'm not, I'm not saying that you, um, is that you should like them back or accept what they did. No, you don't have to accept what they did. You don't have to like them. All I need to know that hey, I want to heal these wounds. Okay, that's why I wanna, you know what? I, I'm gonna forgive you. Okay, obviously, I didn't like what you did. You don't have to like what they did, obviously, or keep liking them back. No, you don't but it's about you it's about you okay and there's this prayer for forgiveness that you know when somebody channeled mother mary she gave us a powerful prayer it's a very short prayer i put that link below and the first time i read it i was crying and crying that's how powerful it is you have to mean it from your deep of your heart right remember from the love from your heart right so I'm gonna put that link below you know it's about also you know setting yourself free setting yourself free whatever that is to you setting yourself free maybe you know I'm tired of you know I'm tired of feeling I, I just want to be who I just want to show people who I am I just, you know I'm tired of feeling like this self-love that also means self-love you breaking free whatever that it is and that means 
to you, okay? Um, kind of when I decided to open up to my religious family, you know? That also obviously took a lot of courage, but that was self-love because, yeah. So I'm gonna put that video as well, the link below if you wanna hear my story. Um, you know, self-love, healing. Everything's about healing. Healing these, the sadness, healing that anger, healing that, you know, emotional pain. That is self-love to you. That is self-love. I just want to heal this. I just want to, you know, because you will. You freaking will when you have that, you know, self-love within you. And you're learning to be more self-love. That's the thing. Even if you wanting to heal, you might not think it's self-love. Oh, it is self-love. You're learning how to self-love yourself. You know, self love the heck out of yourself because <laughs> like your divine team loves you right so they they're teaching you and letting go of, it, of any toxic relationships right maybe toxic work right that is self-love you know you freaking deserve better because you do deserve better okay you deserve to be happy everyone on earth deserves to be help happy and that is not selfish okay and the spiritual awakening journey you start learning that it's all about you yeah i used to be one of those people that you know i would just do things for others all the time I, the last thing i forget about myself what is you time it's self-love time you know you start learning it's not about you first it starts with you first it starts with you first and you're gonna start learning that as uh, the longer you're in your awakening journey so and and knowing that, you know, how amazing and beautiful and, and incredible you, you truly are, you know, and if you, even if you don't feel like that right now, that's the thing. It's not like, because, you know, you were always incredible. You were always amazing, you know, and you just remembering that again, all over again. Hey, remember who you are. This is who you freaking are, okay? You're freaking magical as well. It's time for you to remember and connect with you first. Remember, you starts with you first. And I have a friend that, you know, she's afraid of, of opening up her heart. Like, she's afraid of, of love. She doesn't know what really love feels like. She doesn't know what self-love feels like. She doesn't know, like, because why? Because she's been hurt in the past, you know, she's been hurt if it's not fit with bad relationships with guys. And if it's not by, if it's not, you know, if she's not getting emo either physically or, or emotionally, they were, they were really like hurt her. Okay, physically and emotionally, yeah. Yes, and mentally, you know, they're really hurt her. So she had all these, you know, dated all these different guys and it would be the same, the same, the same thing. And, and she told me, yeah, I'm just afraid. I, I don't know how that feels like. I don't know how that feels like, you know? And, and I told her, you're not, a, and the thing is, she's, she's not afraid of love. She's afraid of the, of the past experiences. That's what she's freaking afraid of, afraid of. Oh, yes. So yeah. You're not afraid of love, woman. <laughs> I gotta say, I heard this video once I, you know, put it on YouTube and send, you know, send this to her. She can hear this video. And, and yeah, remember, you are afraid of past experience. Remember, that past experience helped you evolve. The past experience helped you transform. The past experience helped you, um, you know, really, you know, and, and expand and and you're learning so so much and right now you know she's still going through it she's not she's dating women now so she can make all these kinds of excuses about men only well guess what she's having the same problems with the women again you you can make all these excuses for yourself you know you can run to another country the same pattern will continue to repeat itself until you see it until you you know uh, surrender to it and just go you know what you're guided to do your intuition is telling you to do and, I, and a lot of us you know our ego gets in the way like no 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 you're no just just keep eating other people just keep eating 
dating other people. No, it's about you first. Stop finding self-love from other people because you can't have self-love to you. Remember, it's about you first. And I come to realize that, you know, it will keep repeating itself. So that's another thing. Okay, and, and this is the thing that, okay, and I to bring my angel cards that I love. And I'm gonna ask for those specific people. I'm gonna ask our angel Raphael um, that what he would like to say those people who are afraid of love, right? So my beautiful deck. Okay, so I'll call upon you now, our angel Raphael. Love and gratitude. Uh, what would you like to say for those people that? I feel him. I'm already feeling emotional. Hopefully you feel something. You know, hopefully you can feel him. Um, what would you like to say for those people who are afraid of love? I, I feel him. Okay, our angel Raphael. You know, tune in if you want to tune into his um, his energy. You know, just breathe in and out. You can close your eyes and see if you can sense his love. Because I, I really feel it and I'm getting really emotional. Okay, here we go. Our angel Raphael, what would you like to say for those people who are afraid of love? What would to say to those people who are afraid of love? Ooh, I feel them. <laughs> Our angel Raphael, what would you like to say for those people who are afraid of love? Please connect with me with this new beautiful deck. What would you like to say for those people who are afraid of love? Please let me know, our angel Raphael with this beautiful deck of heart. Ooh, this one flew. We won't get it. I get it so many chills, I haven't even seen it. <sighs> wow, this is a powerful, a powerful message. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many chills. Like, I don't know if you can see it. Look at that. Ooh, let's see what our angel Raphael said. Okay, this is angel number nine. Look at, look at, look that up, angel number nine. And this is, okay, this is what you really need to hear, right? So, Epiphany, Epiphany. Our angel, um, Brasiel, it says, see, I'm, I'm gonna make you look at this beautiful image. He's in a cave, our angel Brasiel, and then there's like this lantern that he's carrying, right? Here we go. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. Remember you? Remember you're learning so much. You're learning so much. You know, remember these experiences that you're feeling, right? That I, I don't want to open it. I'm too scared to feel love. I'm too scared, right? You know, I'm like, I'm literally shaking. <laughs> I'm literally shaking just holding this card. Remember, you're gonna be a light to others. Whatever you freaking experience, that's gonna help you grow. That's gonna help you shine the light in others. That's gonna teach, you're gonna teach others to, you know what? I used to be freaking afraid of love. Guess what, not anymore. And why? Because it helped me evolve. That helped me transform in so many levels, right? You're gonna be, a, you know, a light to others. Like you're that lantern, you're in this cave. You, this really bright lantern teaching others, showing them the way, showing them the path. You know, answers that, uh, feeling yes, answers that come from through meditation. You know, if, if that's what you're feeling, then why are you feeling like that? Go through meditation, go within. Remember, the answer lies within you. I'm feeling yes. Go within yourself. Why am I feeling like this? You know, call on your divine team and your spirit guides. You know, your beautiful team of angels, our angel Raphael, I'm feeling that too. Our angel Raphael, ask him, you know, why am I feeling this way? Go within, shut up your mind, you know, and go. There's great meditations out there for, with a sound background. You know, um, I'm gonna put like a little, if you don't know what that means, I will put a preview of one and you can start going through, you know, what, what really helps you go into deep meditation. So, so yeah, remember, and that's where you receive those epiphanies. You know, even if the, the answer doesn't come right away, oh, it will come, it will come. You know, just have your mind and heart open to whatever. One time, I, I woke up from a dream because I wanted, you know, um, 
because I was I asked for something and then guess what I woke up from the dream doing a full moon and and bam a thought came to my mind I'm like whoa wow yes I love it you know and 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 oh there's the hummingbird hi hummingbird means joy humming the the I'm feeling yes the uh the spirit animal a uh, hummingbird means joy why joy through spiritual growth you know it's trying to find that joy again within it's trying to have you know the happiness that you that you freaking deserve okay by letting the past grow remember that how you evolve now it's about to focus in the now so go within find why you feeling like that is it because of them or because of you because you just you're too scared to open up your heart remember this is your heart chakra and this this week i've been going through a lot of heart chakra opening oh i'm feeling yes i keep feeling I'm like damn i'm really feeling it's being expanded expanded so again because we all remember this is because love rules everything R love rules everything you were made out of freaking love <laughs> you know so remember go within shine that light in the darkness of your own darkness and you will get the answers you will seek whatever that that ever that means to you i'm feeling a lot of yes i hopefully you guys feel these amazing chills like remember whatever you're experiencing right now afraid of this afraid of that you know you because you're shining the light you're shining the path to the other people that are also feeling the same way as you remember that okay so wow yes go with and look at those beautiful look at that it's not incredible it's not like a beautiful and that's what you're learning that's where you're learning oh, i love it oh my god let's see and and just ask our angel Raphael for that to help you tap in look at that beautiful rainbow color right there new beginnings healing um wow so oh, i want to thank our angel Raphael for this incredible and powerful message wow i uh, just hopefully you felt that maybe you felt anything uh please let me know put a comment you know down below where you felt his presence if or, or if you're gonna start communicating with our angel Raphael, if you feel like you're afraid of love or anything about self-love right because he is great and amazing for that so thank you so much our angel Raphael, for this beautiful amazing powerful like supporting message because remember you're not alone you don't have to go through this alone i'm here for you they're here for you you know as your divine team that's why they're with you 24 7 like your angels your spirit guides you know and your galactic team of course wow remember be a light to others this is what you're here for shining shining your brightness on this earth i'm feeling yes okay remember that so like and subscribe for more videos to help you on your spiritual awakening journey and until next time bye